Welcome to Stuff Electricians Should Know, where I give you bite-sized bits of useful information, usually in the form of an answer to a question. So here's today's question. What is AIC? So I was taking a look at a breaker a few years ago. It's a single pole, 20 amp, and I became kind of confused. I'd seen hundreds of them, but I hadn't paid really that close of attention, apparently. And as I was taking a closer look, I saw another amperage rating on it. It said... 10,000 AIC. So what was I looking at? How could it be rated for 20 amps? This is a two pole, obviously. But how could it be rated for 20 amps, but also rated for 10,000 amps? So here's a scoop for any apprentices out there or anybody else that's pretty young in the business. And I'm sure those who have been in the business for a while are well aware of this. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. But AIC stands for Amperage Interrupting Capacity or AIR stands for Amperage Interrupting Rating. So I've actually noticed that there are a lot of pe different people interpret this a lot of different ways, but those are what I'm sticking to. So these ratings are given to overcurrent protection devices, such as breakers and fuses. And we need to know, though, what, is it, what exactly does it mean? So in short, it describes the maximum fault current or surge amps that the breaker or fuse can clear safely without welding closed or causing damage to equipment or people. So in other words, what kind of shot this can take before it's destroyed. The AIC is a safety rating and it's independent of the nominal load rating of the overcurrent protection device or the panel. It has nothing to do with the short circuit rating on the handle of the breaker. In Article 110.9 of the NEC, it states, Equipment intended to interrupt current at fault levels shall have an interrupting rating at nominal circuit voltage sufficient for the current that is available at the line of the terminals of the equipment. Equipment intended to interrupt current at other than fault levels shall have an interrupting rating at nominal circuit voltage sufficient for the current that must be interrupted. So maybe this is an oversimplification, but... The way I read this is if you have a 120 volt circuit with a fault current available of 10,000 amps, you need to make sure that your breaker or your fuse is rated for 120 volts and has a 10,000 AIC or AIR. If not, you could be in some deep, deep doo-doo if something goes wrong. If you'd like a more in-depth look at topics like these, then you'll need to check out the Stuff Electricians Should Know digital magazine where each month we dive even deeper into the stuff electricians should know. As well as check out the audio podcast by the same name that's over at iTunes, and you can find all of this over at electricianslibrary.com. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, stay grounded.